Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Alchemist. Okay, that was strange. Um, we're in a Pokemon Center. If you can guess where, you don't want a prize. If you can't guess where, you still don't want a prize. Uh, we're in Rivertown. And, as you can tell, what time, you can kind of tell what time I'm recording, based on what the game looks like. When I'm recording around 11 a.m., it's normal. When I'm recording before then, it's, or I think it's maybe before 10 a.m. It looks a little off because it's early morning. Uh, if I'm recording in the evening, which you will never see, everything's dark. That's what happens with day-night cycles. Anyway, so, um, F6, I think. So, one thing I wanted to do was, last time I was like, hey, we're going up this way. And my mic, I muted my mic by accident. On purpose for one at one point, but then I completely forgot that it was muted. And that's why I'm checking and making sure it's not muted today. Uh, but we want to get to Sandville City probably by the end of today, if possible. If this doesn't take too long. So, this is actually a route for a power plant. And I'm interested in what's down here. I know it's probably DLC, uh, endgame or DLC content. Not DLC, per se, like, perfectly, but more endgame. Um... And then also, I was complaining about that I couldn't activate uh, the water in the town without myself, without realizing that Mari wasn't in my party. Yeah, uh, that was something that was completely just ignored. So, uh, one other thing is we are going to want to have a lot of repels because we are. Um, I'm going to be running through the desert, and I don't want to capture any Pokemon up there, um, just because I just don't want to. Please take him out. Can't have him using another magnitude. Good. And flame wheel again, and dead. Out. Cold. Bye. All because of one slight mishap. It's annoying. Though water type moves are very effective against what I want, to who I want to take down, so it's fine. The power. Sure. I'm gonna take this Pokeball. Which is just a po- it, 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 actually just a Pokeball. Uh, and we'll have to go back up for just s some healing. And that's a pain in my tuchus. Magnemite! Magnemite, Magnemite! Hopefully this won't keep, take it and eliminate it. Okay. Okay. And we have to go downwards and fight a trainer. Hey, I'm digging over here. This is kind of like the gym battle of the episode. We're going on a little adventure. We're going on a little trip. Though... I don't know how long that's going to take and whether or not it'll actually be a fun experience. You can guess all you want in the comment section. I feel like it would be kind of cool for someone to, to either rip the animation files, probably shouldn't, uh, or make a, set of, a, a huge set of custom animation files so that we aren't just getting the most basic of basic animation files. Animations for stuff. Another Magnite. Because it's mostly based off sprite sheets. So if I say, oh yeah, use this move, that's not flame, that doesn't look like flame wheel to me. Because it's just a hit. But then Surf is also just a hit. 
and those two moves are completely different. I want to see the power plant. Wait a second. Oh, there's a dude here. Wait, what? How do you do today? My name is Kyle, and I'm on the search for a rare electric type Pokemon. The Pokemon here bonded with the workers. They live and work in tandem here in the small facility. It's spectacular, but even more spectacular is the legendary Pokemon Raikou. Raikou is said to have descended from the sky with lightning. Unfortunately, it seems to have slipped from my grasp. I have a feeling we'll meet again someday. Good luck on your adventure. Okay. It's a magnet. You know, I didn't think anything of coming here. Electric Pokemon are super effective on flying and water types. Try flying types to your advantage. Uh, I, I, yeah. Uh, one cell battery. I'm curious because I've electrotype boost power. If the holder is held, is attack. Okay, so the battery is essentially an a defense against it. What? That's weird. But in the power plant, they're just gonna start attacking me. But I know it's gonna use like an explosion type move or something. Like, in self destruct. Uh, Pokeballs. Oh, mouse time. Turn turn on my mouse. Uh, we'll capture it with a gray ball because I I just don't want to have to deal with. I want this. Talk to the other dude, but um, other than that, I don't think there's any there's much to this area. I don't want to fight anymore, especially not a lower level Voltorb. I guess we'll, uh, content. I'm repairing the machine. My Pokemon absorbs all the electricity for me, so it's safe to work on. And we'll leave. And... Here's the blunt. Here's something. We'll capture this Pokemon. And then, when the battle's over, I will meet you in the desert. And that should be, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll meet you in the desert. And technically, right here, we, have ent we are entering the desert. Welcome to Desert Cave. Uh, last video, um, kind of didn't work that way because uh kind of screwed up and well I yeah didn't happen so anyway what we're gonna be doing is I want to use repels in the cave um there are some Pokemon that it would be I would like to catch but um other than that no so the goal is to just get in this cave dirty battle you maybe I don't think so And from now, I'll actually see you in the desert. Woo! Bye, Diglett. Flaming bat sickle. Mm. 
Oh. And now we're gone. Bye bye. Meditate on that. This whole incident doesn't make sense at all. power um There's no accuracy, so I guess we'll get rid of um quick attack. And once again we are here. Uh you probably don't know what this place is. Welcome to the middle the random in middle of the desert cafe. So right now I wanna check the phone. I can't access the phone. Probably so that I uh, don't do anything stupid. We're gonna use another repel. And uh, we're gonna continue on our journey. And this time I actually want you with me for at least a few minutes, seconds. We're on Route 7. Um, and then we turn the corner. A sandstorm starts brewing and we are in Route 8. There's a scientist dude here. And I'll see you. We'll. We'll all be back. That's what I was saying. Like, he's gonna be buffeted by the fucking sandstorm. Why are you putting people with, like, non sand types that aren't can't deal with the sandstorm in a sandstorm? game of can I beat him and then get to the city without doing much I actually tried using my lowest power move or I've been using my lowest power moves or high power moves not low power but whenever I'm capturing a Pokemon I use uh, low power I think I have a potion or two that I can use Can use mine too. Oops. Should be right through here. And with that, we make it to Sandvale City. Uh, I do want to make it to the Pokemon Center before uh, I can do anything else. But I am smarter than your average bear. And I'm not gonna be dealing with. I'm not gonna play with. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to fall for something that ha can happen. In every Pokemon game, something that occurs is. Um. The game will mess with you, and put your rival in. So gotta be careful. We need to double the work. We need to finish this plaza. But but Simon, we can't. The land isn't ready yet. We gotta do it. This city needs to grow. I'm going down to my gym. Keep up the work. Simon's an ass. Uh, back to work. Look at the metal. That's pretty cool metal. Uh, do I want to use repel in a city? No. 
We'll go here. Something I'll say that's really cool about this city is uh, I've been I've played Pokemon for a fairly long time. There are other cities that I, I don't remember how many other cities might do this, but each city is designed to be really specific. Now, what I would think would be cool is have po custom Pokemon centers, which I know some games have. But the way Simon's gym works is. Across here, his gym is in here. It's the Sandville Underground. And it's just lower Sandville with the gym right here. But I kind of want to explore a little. Do not enter. It's a rather fake looking rock, yeah. I'm assuming that's a base or some kind. The mines. And this is like a selling area. The block. Huh. Oh. Wings air, get your wings air. Uh. I sell the finest and rare bitter medicine. And then I'm assuming. You're gonna have revival herbs. Oh boy, but you're charging full. You're charging a lot for them. Now I know they're powerful, but still, it, this is incenses. I think it's kind of cool to have a black market, but the question is, why are some of these items black market? Right. I don't even know what mats do. That lets you know whether or not I uh, know this stuff. Honey. You sell honey. How is hon how is honey a black market item? Are you training? I have power ups. See, these I can understand. And the way you do this is... Okay. This is a really... These are kind of like very stupid things. What you do is you lower speed in in exchange. You get, say you get two points of speed and two points of um, attack. I think you might only get one point of speed or zero points of speed or even negative one point of speed, and that's how you do it. Watch out, if you want to enter the Sandville Mine, listen up. The Sandville Mine is a long, difficult dungeon of sorts filled with wire, wild Pokemon and loot. Oddly, the layout seems to change every time you enter. Isn't that weird? Once you enter, there's no escape unless you have an escape rope or reach the exit. If you're prepared, you can enter. If you want to hear my warning again or buy an escape rope, talk to me. When it gives me a warning and says this is extremely experimental, do not do this unless you, if you want, don't want to glitch your game. Uh, I'm going to trust the creator here. Now, here's something that gets me. Um, the Graphite City Gym. Okay, actually, the F Ember City Gym or whatever, the Flame City. Uh, that was a custom gym. Arguably it wasn't. It was just the power plant. A sprite. <laughs> but the inside was very custom. Uh, the uh, then Graphite City was it was the town hall. This is just a regular gym underground. <laughs> oh. Okay, I know what this. You're underneath the gym, but if you take the stairs, you can leave and try again. I know what this type of gym is. <sighs> um, Jim, like danger, but it's enough that it forces you to think about where you're stepping and not to go backwards, yo dude, as much as possible. Oh. Oh yeah, Swift has no accuracy. Swift just does damage. 
using water type moves, and those are heavily effective on rock type and ground type. And the only thing, that, and the Mari can handle. See right there, eleven damage. That's nothing to my water type Pokemon. You're not dealing with a lot of Pokemon that have, or a lot of gym trainers that have. I mean, not gym trainers, regular trainers that have three Pokemon until. But. Fix, I have to amp up myself because it's quite a, it's an annoying puzzle. Hey, hey, welcome to the dark on the side of Sandvale. That quicksand was fun, right? My Pokemon helped carve the slab of rock into a right and proper city. It's important to remember to push your Pokemon. With that little bit of hard work and grit, Pokemon won't grow. Too much kindness and you might as well join a Pokemon contest. But too little kindness, pushing a, a Pokemon too far, well I think it would be my job as a gym leader to stop that. Let's see it, kid. How have you pushed your Pokemon to greatness during the other journey? Dude, you're like the third gym leader that I have fa fought. And that's sincere. Oh, I think we were... Oh. That's not the type of Pokemon I thought I would be facing. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Uh, see, I thought I would be facing more, like, rock and ground type. No. Golet is not, go or Golet or whatever, is not one of them. Uh, Sandile, no. Sandile, I know for sure, is what I, the type of human I want to fight. And I can use surf. Oh, great. And then we'll use Aqua Tail because it's a physical attack next. Set. Oh, it had a berry. Okay, for a second I thought. Oh. Are you f is Whip a, is Whiskash even a ground type? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't have. I have to. Mari's gonna have to just take the fall here. Because I did not expect him to have a water type. Now, I, I understand maybe it would be fair for him to have a water type because it's a defense against the type of Pokemon I have, but still, it's kind of unfair in just a general understanding of gyms to have a Pokemon that can immediately counter what I have. Also, Magnitude. Magnitude is one of the worst freaking moves, and I've seen a lot of Pokemon have it. Okay, it isn't. Okay, can I use acid on it? The water pulse isn't gonna do too much damage. Or it shouldn't do too much damage, but. <laughs> and that should be, have done way more damage. It's one of those. So it is. It actually is one of those. Oh yeah, it's gonna do minimal damage, and then yeah. Oh great, we're, we're we've reached the point. Uh, we've sincerely reached the point that of is it gonna do damage? Uh, and the magnitude just keeps going up. And Big Iron doesn't have Sturdy. Now, I know it's a fire type Pokemon, but maybe, just maybe. It 
just how are you going up so high with magnitude? Even I don't get that. And I know if I use magnitude, it probably won't affect it, right? If I try... Oh, great! You even have a hyper potion. Great. And... Okay, magnitude does affect it. But magnitude does minimal! Ah... <sighs> Here I was thinking I was all prepared for this gym. And then they want to play games where it's semantics of whether or not or what type of Pokemon they have. And Hyper Potions at the third fucking gym? I'm sorry, I'm peace. I'm pissed here. Because I don't know how to deal with this. And great, it wakes up immediately because it has a Chester Berry. We're just going to try this. Not going to do anything. Why do I have to pay the gym leader money? He already has a job being a gym leader. <sighs> anyway, let's just do this. As the game, or as this recording whole thing started, as this episode started, and as this episode ends, we're in the same place, essentially, where we're in a j we're in a freaking Pokemon Center. Okay. You know what? I was going to say this. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Mm hmm I'll be honest, I, I still am, like, with some of the levels and some of the systems in this game, I'm like, god fucking damn it. Well, some of them make no sense. Like, actually, yeah, I'm... No, fuck that. Goodbye. I'll just be honest. Some of them make no sense where I understand sometimes where you add or you give certain trainers certain things, but it was Whiskrash, right? A Whiskrash Pokemon. Yeah, it's a water and ground type. But what gym is he supposed to be? I guess ground? That's the only thing I can guess is because Golet is ground too, right? Is ground ghost. Now, it's just overall, it's like you don't tell me what type of gym technically he is. So I have to make an assumption like, oh, he's maybe rock type or he, oh, he's this type. And then I, I'm like, okay, he's probably ground type. But then you do. Like, the ultimate thing, and put in a ground-type Pokemon that you know is not going to take damage from typical moves. Especially, it's the highest level Pokemon he has. Like, fuck. Fire truck. Jesus Christ. So, anyway. As this dude walks in front of me and uh, wants to destroy the outro. We'll, we'll just sit down. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one, if there is a next one. Bye-bye.